Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we're going to enable SNMP in Microsoft Windows 10. Now I know I've done this before in Windows 7 and 8, uh, but again, people ask, uh, is it any different with Windows 10? It's just um, a little different if you go about it the wrong way. So I want to show you both ways. Uh, the first way that people typically do this, because they've written to me, is you click the little uh, flag here in the bottom, little Windows logo, and they click the cog. That's a big mistake, and that takes you through a totally different panel that you don't want to go through. So the easiest way to do this is when you do click on the little Windows symbol, you just type the word Control. Okay. That brings up the option for the Control panel. Optionally, you can do the Windows button R and type Control as well. It takes you to the same place. Now this should look familiar. This is the same in Windows 7 and Windows 8. So we're going to go to the programs here and it says default programs, program features, uninstall a program, that kind of thing. So we want to turn Windows features on or off. Now this is going to vary a little bit depending on your specific installation. Sometimes your uh, Windows administrators will disable features or not allow you to install certain features. So being that said, I guess this is what it looks like when you don't have any restrictions or nothing's been mucked with. So as you come down the list here, we'll find SNMP. Now the other thing that I'm just briefly going to touch on, there's other stuff that you might want to turn off. SMB 1.0 for example, uh, that should probably be off in corporate environments unless you have specific devices that need that and that's a whole other topic. But you'll notice there's other things we can do around here. So we're going to go up to the SNMP here. I'm just going to hit the little plus sign and you'll see there's also a WM, WMI SNMP provider. It's a mouthful. Uh, and that's really cool if you have software that does inventory on your computers to tell you the processor, the disk space, the software installed, licenses, all that kind of stuff. This is what it would probably use for that. So you turn that on. But if you want regular SNMP, just to see how long something's been up, uh, the data rate on the interfaces, all that generic stuff, then SNMP is right there. So we're going to click OK and now it's going to search for the files and it's going to install the files. So instead of just watching you watch my screen, I'm going to pause the video for just one moment. All right, so it's installed those features and in most cases you're going to have to restart your computer. This is really important to note because if you did this on a server, you may have to restart the server. I say may because if you try SNMP, you'll probably notice it works. You don't need a reboot, but just to make sure that things are done properly, you should always restart your system. So I'm going to pause the video again and restart the, the actual compute. Alright, so the machine's rebooted and now we need to go to our services and there's two ways to do it. You can hit your little Windows Start button and you can type the word services. Uh, the other way to go about it is to do the Windows R and type services.msc enter and that will bring up the services panel. From here you're going to scroll down or just type SNMP. Uh, kind of nice to scroll down to see what services are running on your system. That's again, that could be a whole other video in itself. But right now we want to find the SNMP service. We want to make sure it's running. We're going to click, click, double click it. And here's the cool part. So the first thing is the agent. So you can put your contact information in there. Tony Fortunato. Whoops. How about me? <laughs> I don't know what my keyboard was doing. And same with the location. So if anything pulls this device, the contact information would come in there. So it's a good place to put things like your phone number or if it's located in a wiring closet, uh, desk six, fifth floor, that sort of thing. That's a good thing to do. The other one is over here under security. So I know it says authentication trap, but this is where you can set your community string. I'm going to hit add and I'm going to do read only string and you can, I don't know, do the old public I guess uh, but you can have different community strings here and and this is the cool part down here accept SNMP packets from these hosts so you can actually designate an IP or a host name of the device allowed to pull this machine so I know SNMP gets a bad wrapping and secure and all that kind of jazz but there are many things you can do to make it more secure um, SNMP would be used uh, more as a short-term troubleshooting tactical methodology. It's not something you would leave on all your machines all the time anyways, 
But in those cases, you can actually tune this up quite a bit. So I hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.